Um, and we, so far, we've, we've been, uh, well, we're very excited to be here to, be, to begin with and, you know, very grateful to uh, the government of uh, the Republic of Suriname for the invitation. And uh, we all uh, actually exchanged uh, our initial uh, impressions on the need for having this kind of uh, in dialogue, uh, uh, on uh, this kind of discussions regarding the security matters. I mean, we all agree that this, it, it, these are challenging times, particularly now coming out of COVID, as we're coming out of COVID, and, and, and obviously the whole issue of, of uh, transnational organized crime is one of the biggest challenges that uh, all our countries are facing. So pretty much the, this morning, we, uh, our different you know, representatives from different countries just reinstated uh, the need for that, this kind of uh, uh, um, dialogue and an opportunity to have actually to know uh, in person uh, the counterparts from other countries, which is actually a network opportunity also for, for, for many of us here. So indeed, it is, it is, uh, we applaud and the initiative by the by the government of uh, the Republic of Suriname for having uh, this uh, this security conference, and we all very exciting to actually start working on the details and, and the more substantive uh, uh, discussions on the issues of the different issues of security. Um, what has been uh, discussed up until now? Is there is there can you give a statement about that? Uh, no, as I mentioned, I mean um, you know up till now the, the countries have had the opportunity to. Uh, made a statement on on their impressions on the need for for this kind of dialogue and uh, you know I can talk for ourselves as well I mean we highlighted the importance of of, of stepping up um, as government to uh, counter uh, the you know organized crime and the need to to tackle and the need for collaboration among our countries precisely to that end, uh, taking into consideration that we have limited resources, as you know, uh, uh, many of our countries have limited resources, but jointly, obviously, we have a, more, a better chance to be more effective against uh, organized crime. Um, the, what kind of contribution will um, the Dominican Republic actually um, give to this uh, conference? What type of contribution is that? Yeah, well, I think, you know, same as, as in other, other countries, I mean, we, we th we, we're putting it on the table pretty much our experience and our, uh, you know, uh, experience and know-how in different areas. I mean, I, I think as a country, as one of the largest countries in the Caribbean, we have and been positioned in, in a very strategic location. We are dealing with a lot of uh, uh, challenging, particularly the drug trafficking and all of that. So I think that we managed to uh, to counter that those uh, those acts and uh, in a way, as I mentioned, it is a matter of, of, of mutual collaboration. So we can learn from each other, from the experience of each other. And in the case of the Dominican Republic, it is the same. It's based pretty much to, uh, to put on the table our experience, but as well as to learn from others. And definitely the whole issue of, of uh, resources is quite important. So I, I don't think any of us can actually uh, uh, manage to in, in its own. So it's a matter of a collaborative effort uh, between nations of the region to actually an exchange of information and cooperation which will allow us to actually have a more efficient uh, fight against uh, organized crime. Okay, uh, lastly I would like to know um, how will the outcome of this meeting impact the security pos uh, policy of the Dominican Republic or the region as a whole? No, I think again I think these are these are these kind of uh, venues and, and uh, events are key in, in order to learn from the experience of each other. I mean, this morning, for example, we had the opportunity to hear the different countries uh, making a statement about the different initiatives that they're, uh, they're putting in place to tackle different aspects of, of organized crimes and all the, all the issues that we're dealing with. So it, it, it is a perfect venue for us to, to sort of follow up on those initiatives and a perfect venue for, for each of the country to actually um, join efforts. So again, I think you know, out of this uh, out of this event, uh, a lot of good things and positive things comes out, and uh, and we hope to have the same. We hope to bring back to capital uh, some of the experiences uh, discussed here in the next couple of days, and uh, hopefully it will it will actually uh, uh, materialize in something concrete. You know, but I think that's actually very important and it was something that the president uh, mentioned this morning, uh, the need to, to move beyond the statement into concrete actions.